Welcome back everyone to Mac Gaming Revolution. So just a, a quick a little preface before the, the video starts. I just wanted to let y'all know, thank you so much for, for bearing with me for the past you know year now, since I just sort of disappeared off the face of the earth. You know, I've had, had a little bit going on in life and stuff with you know college and whatnot, but we're all good now. I'm gonna try and get back to a somewhat consistent upload schedule. But, I mean, I, I honestly can't really commit to that. But, bottom line, just expect more videos to be coming out at the very least. You know, I'm not just going to go away for another year again. But, yeah, thank you all so much for your patience. And thank you all so much for continuing to support the channel even after I disappeared. Because, like, my, my sub count pretty much doubled, honestly, over the time I was gone. Which is just really impressive. And, yeah, I mean, just thank you guys all so much. Let's get into the video now. So, today, as you can probably tell by the title, we're going to be covering Schedule 1. So, uh, if you didn't know already, Schedule 1 is, unfortunately, a Windows-only game, which means we're going to have to go through some weird alternative methods to run it. So, you know, back in ye olden days of a year ago, you'd use either Whiskey or Mythic or, you know, something along those lines to, to run Windows games for free. Um, unfortunately, you can't really do that now. You have to purchase crossover because Whiskey and Mythic, because Mythic ran off Whiskey, essentially, have both been unfortunately discontinued. So yeah, you're gonna have to you're gonna have to get a purchase a, a crossover license. So you can go to CodeWeavers.com and you know just navigate to the the Mac tab and. Yeah, just purchase a, a a license of crossover. Right now, it's seventy four dollars. But if you wait till like Black Friday or Cyber Monday, it'll actually drop like significantly. To, geez, I think last year was like eight or nine dollars for a year, which is honestly really good. So I would say just wait till then. Until then, you can just use free trials and stuff. But you know. If you're if you're gonna buy it and you're a little bit more tight on cash, then just just wait till Black Friday or Cyber Monday. So yeah, just purchase crossover or get the free trial, something like that. Obtain crossover and just get it all set up. Once you have crossover all downloaded and set up, installed, all those things, um, you're gonna be greeted with this home screen. You know, um, you won't have any of these bottles. This is just because I already have games installed. So to install Schedule 1, you're just going to want to go down to that little install button and then just look up Schedule 1. So to install it first, um, just make sure it's on Steam. I don't think you can actually get Schedule 1 from anywhere else like GOG, but if it's not already on Steam, just set it to install via Steam. And then additionally, if you already have Crossover downloaded and other bottles, it might try and automatically install Schedule 1 into a, a pre-existing bottle. So essentially set that so it's installing it into its own bottle. Uh, a general Crossover tip, um, you're going to want to essentially only install games into their own bottles. So, like, if you have just one bottle and you have, like, a bunch of Windows games installed into that, that they'll start, like, overlapping and just cause, you know, start causing all sorts of issues and stuff. So, yeah, exactly. Here, I got my Kenshi bottle, Hellers bottle, Deep Rock Galactic bottle, all these things. So, yeah, just isolate each game to its own bottle. And then... Once everything's all set up and ready to go, just press that little purple install button. Well, it shouldn't be purple for you, but whatever. Press the install button and just let it get going. So the install process is super simple. Um, some pop-ups might appear asking you to install some different fonts and stuff. Just accept like this one right here, Times New Roman. Just push yes or uh, you know, press the checkbox, accept. And then eventually um, a Steam pop-up will appear and all that I'll have you do is just, you know, enter your, your Steam account info. After you log into your Steam, it'll automatically start downloading Schedule 1, which is really cool. So, and if not, you can just go into your library, look up, and then just, like, manually download Schedule 1 from there. So, yeah, I'm just going to cut to when I have Schedule 1 downloaded. All right, Schedule 1 is nice and downloaded now. So you're going to want to switch back over to your crossover tab and then select Quit All Applications. That is because what we're going to be doing next is going to essentially require rebooting the, the bottle anyway. So might as well just do it. So we're going to be messing with the graphics and synchronization options. So for graphics, you're going to want to select D3D Metal. 
Now, I don't actually know if DXMT works very well with this. I haven't tried it yet. Um, last I did, I don't even know if DXMT was out yet, but I don't think Schedule 1 uses the, the graphics API which would enable DXMT. I don't know. Um, just, just do D3D Metal. And then select msync for synchronization. Now, another little tip for synchronization is that msync is pretty much the only synchronization option that like works across the board and works best, honestly. I don't think I've found a single game where eSync is better, honestly. So pretty much enable msync by default. And then just simply double click the Schedule 1 icon to launch it. And now we are in Schedule 1. So before we get playing, we're going to want to mess with the graphics settings just a little bit because as you know, we're running, we're running this through a translation layer, so performance isn't going to be optimal. So first off, set your quality to medium as well as anti-aliasing, you can set that to FXAA or just disable it altogether. Same with SSAO and God Rays. Now I'm running this on an M4 Mac with 24 gigabytes of RAM um, for context. So if you're on a, a worse machine, you know, you have eight gigabytes or 16 even, you're gonna wanna lower those graphics even further, honestly. So that's just, you know, the cost you pay with Mac gaming, you know, you, for, you graphics will have to, to take a hit for performance. Also mess with your resolution a little bit. And here we are in Schedule 1. Now, I don't know if you can see um, through the video the, the FPS accurately due to compression or something, but on my end, this definitely looks 60 FPS, aside from occasional micro stutters here and there. Granted, that is only because I'm just loading the game up for the first time, you know, so um, shaders are compiling, stuff like that. So. The more you play it, the less stuttering there should be. Just like overall, like even in next sessions, there won't be as much stuttering. So, um, but yeah, now it's just running completely smoothly, honestly. So, and again, this is 24 gigabytes M4, just baseline um, MacBook Pro. So it has a fan, but it's not like the Pro or the Max chip, you know. So, but yeah, this is honestly running pretty great. Um, and yeah, medium graphic settings, lower it further, raise it, whatever you got going on with your, with your specs, with your rig. Um, just adjust accordingly, mess around, see what works best for you. Hey, if you like the, the nicer graphics but can, can deal with 30 FPS, then go ahead, you do you. But yeah, again, expect more uploads to come in the future. Thank y'all so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing and supporting the channel as always. And yeah, I'll just leave it at that. See y'all in the next one. Keep gaming on a Mac.